Are you a Catholic? Looking for more Catholic friends? Well, this is the wrong place to come. You should go outside instead of watching a video. But before you leave, I do have some tips for you. So tip number one, go outside. That's really it. Um, you have to leave your room, leave your home, and go out into the world. I would imagine a lot of younger people watch this video. However, it can still be useful for older people. What I did when I graduated college last fall, I was very lonely, had really no in real life friends. All of my old friends had went off to college and I was kind of working in the routine of working. So I really built up a social life in a few months. And here's how I did that. Firstly, I used Google. There are quite a few Catholic clubs really in every city. Even if you think your town doesn't have one, you can still look up like the next biggest city. So for me, that was a 40 minute drive. However, just doing that once a week, that was worth it because I was going to an active youth group that had 20, 30 other people in it. Really built a lot of friendships there. So yes, find that active youth group in your area. There's always one, you just have to look for it. Ask people, ask your priest, is there an active youth group? within a reasonable distance. If there's not, then start your own. You can always start your own, but that'll be tip number three. So tip number two, look for events in your area. There's lots of events always, always happening. I'm so aware of these events that are happening now, I can never go to half of them, though I would like to. They're always interesting. There's Catholic speakers, there's rosary walks, there's meetups, there's all of it. You just have to look. Use Google. Google is your best friend in this situation. Third, create your own. So if there's not a youth group in your area, that means a lot of other people probably at your parish are looking for Catholic friends as well. So start a youth group. Go to other parishes, talk to their youth directors about forming just one giant group. That's really what happened in my state, the state of Kentucky. In the city, there's a youth group that attracts people from like 10 different parishes. So it's really just a huge youth group, 30, 40 people every week doing something. And fourthly, I don't know if that's a word, fourthly, uh, but fourth, fourth, check out our Discord server. So if you've never heard of Discord, immediately you think it's chaotic. However, this server was specifically designed to connect you with people in your local area. We hope to make it a social media app one day. That's still far away, but the server is up and running now. If you go to the link in the description, you join this server free of charge. You tell us where you're from, what age you are. And then we'll do our best to really connect you with those people in your state. That's what it is, connecting people with other people in their state for friendship, networking, dating, or just clubs and events, making people aware of all of these clubs and events. And this really grew from my own experience of just really getting out there and getting connected. That's what I want everyone to do. A lot of things come from that. It helps on a local level to grow the church. So that's why I wanted to create this server we call it Catholic Apostolates by State, CABS for short. Do check that out. I think it is a necessary thing for Catholics to really connect once again. That's one of the main strengths we have in our religion is just the ability to connect with one another. We all have something in common, our Catholic faith. So thank you for watching this. I hope it was helpful. May God bless you all. Not of the modern world. For the modern, 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 modern world. world. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. You are my life.